Um, Utah is a beautiful place. It's it's good. The girls are awesome. Everyone here has been really friendly, so it's been a nice welcome. What's been training like this week? Training's been good. The intensity is high. Everyone's really motivated to get a W this weekend. Yeah, it's been good. Coming from the A League to NWSL, have you seen a difference in the style of play that players are playing? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a higher tempo than the um, A League, and yeah, it's just gonna take some time to adjust. But yeah, yeah. Had you followed the NWSL going into this transfer, or did you know anything about the league before? Um, not a whole lot, actually. I I've watched a couple games here and there but not religiously followed it yeah do you know any of the New Zealand players who are on teams in yeah yeah years? yeah I know the New NZ girls yeah mm -hmm. nice. um, and then uh, World Cup was your side of the world last time out were you able to yeah see a boon in women's soccer being supported over there or, or what was the reaction from fans in New Zealand yeah for sure I think um, having the World Cup in New Zealand definitely grew the sport in our country and also Australia. We noticed a lot of young girls coming down to our games and just really feeling inspired from that, so that was really cool. Final thing, uh, what are you hoping to bring to this team? How would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I'm hoping I can bring some creativity, some, some technical, I don't know, the <laughs> technical ability, yeah, just yeah, be creative, get on the ball, hopefully make the team get some goals. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I've, I've had the pleasure of going against a few of my former clubs, a few of my former coaches. Um, it's always a battle and, and one that you want to fight for pride. Um, and yeah, looking forward to a great match against Kansas City tomorrow. Three goals in finals for Kansas City. Are there any memories that stand out? Oh gosh. Playing for them? Um, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Kansas City. While I was there, two championships, um, you know, great team camaraderie, such great, great memories. It's so exciting to see the club be uh, one of the front runners now again. Um, it's a huge battle to go up against them, and I'm looking forward to, to the match tomorrow night. I'm sure you know many coaches, but this coach was a part of so many of those wins. What's it like to see him back in NWSL? Great to have Vladko back in the NWSL. Um, you know, he's a, he's a great manager, uh, has excelled so much in this league, and, um, you know, his teams do, do quite well. So as, as a manager going against him, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge, and the, the student always wants to try go, to go against the teacher, and, and you'll see that tomorrow night, and so I'm really looking forward to it. Three games away from uh, AFF, what did you learn about this team on this road trip? Um, the big takeaways from the road trip is that the team just continued to push through. I told them going into this week, you know, this is one last push before we get to the um, international break. Um, it's, it's your chance to go against a, a top team, and we are quite the underdog going into this game. Um, but there's nothing to lose, and we've got everything to fight for. Um, this team, week after week, has, has kept building. Um, each week we're building our character as well and defining who we are and our identity. Um, and here's just another opportunity for us to do that. Kansas City leads the league in goals. What can you do defensively and what are you trying to see out of your team? We're really going to try to eliminate attacking transition from Kansas City. Um, we know they have a lot of you know, firepower up front and, and very aggressive in how they uh, attacking transition. So just really being good about our countermeasures, um, great organization, good shifting from the entire group. Uh, it's going to take a full team effort tomorrow. Offensively, what are you trying to see in chances created? So you might see something a little different in our build this week. Um, we've obviously added in some new players as well. Um, and so, you know, on the ball, trying to build through the thirds, it's still going to be our priority. Um, but making sure we're a little bit cleaner in our attack and having good ball security. Let's speak to those two new players, Macy and Anna, joining the group. What have you seen from them after a full week of training? Yeah, the, the, the players are, are f you know, fitting in nicely. Um, it's not easy to jump into the NWSL league at all from a physicality standpoint and aggressive standpoint. So, you know, they definitely are, are going to be challenged tomorrow and, and moving forward. But, um, you know, as players and as people, we've we welcomed them into the, into the crew, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds. 
Macy's a part of that group that's been called up during this international window, along with Amandine and Ali. Uh, what does it mean to the club to see a couple of players get those calls? Love seeing my players get international experience. Um, whenever my players have an opportunity to, to go represent their national teams, I'll always encourage that. Um, really looking forward to, to seeing what they do on both stages.